Death is not ultimate, but is a factor in the evolution of the spirit. While death involves a psychochemical change of third-dimensional matter, its real meaning is as a rite of passage of the spirit. In other words, death exists as a mean for the soul or spirit to experience moments of evaluation. In essence, whatever the soul believes, it receives. Then comes a new creation. The new creation always involves a plasmatic discharge. Spirit itself is defined as a radial plasmatic involution. It may be that if a soul has lived righteously and believed in paradise, then paradise is what it will receive. But this is rare. Or it may also be, as the advanced Tibetan Buddhists believe, that with proper preliminary practice, one can pass through the bardo, after death realm, easily and consciously choose one's birth as a tulku who remembers the previous life. Reincarnation is not necessary if this is not your belief. The elements of the physical being and personality tend to be recycled out of ignorance. In order to better understand this purposive process, let us consider the three cosmic universal laws of the self-perfect triangle. 1. Law of Unity Everything is unified in the universal field or circle of unity. Unity is the absolute level of reality. The universe is the circle of unity. 2. Law of Polarity and Resonance All polarity is resolved in resonance. This means that the evolution of the universe at the relative level tends toward harmony. The polarity is the initial rank. This is the initial separation and incentive for creative resolution. All separation ultimately becomes cosmic music resolved in resonance. 3. Law of Action-Reaction This law is also known as the law of karma-dharma, cause and effect. Karma-dharma, like death, exists as a factor in the evolution of spirit. The human, as a function of the intentional thinking activity of the universe, is subject to the law of karma-dharma. The basic binary application of the human thinking mechanism is reception and reaction. If the reaction is unconscious, then is created a repeated rebound force resulting in a limited world. The thoughts of the reactive human register in the mirror of the mind and continuously bounce back like a self-perpetuating ping-pong ball. Everyone lives in a self-created world. The law of karma-dharma can be altered allowing the human the opportunity to replace negative lines of force with positive lines of force. Ultimately, the human is meant to neutralize all forces to create the possibility of evolution. People talk about spirit, soul and evolution, but what is spirit and what it is that evolves? What are the origins of spirit? What are its stages or planes of evolution? Every time there is some type of creation or procreation, the rang occurs again and from that comes the creation of the new entity. The point of bringing this up is that there seems to be an element of an ongoing cosmogenesis, from the micro to the macro level. If death is a transition in the evolution of the soul, which is the vehicle of spirit in its universal transmigratory expedition, then there must be different stages of evolution, different planes of being. Cosmic science speaks of evolutive planes, of which humans are the third. Within the evolutive planes, there are successive incarnations, experiences of death and subsequent evaluations. At certain points, when there is a shift from one evolutive plane to the next, then the collective status of being shifts, inclusive of its modes of consciousness. However, this is only a perception from the third dimensional level. If we are talking about the evolution of spirit, then we must take account of seven dimensions of being, as well as a cosmology of spirit in which it is the fifth-dimensional higher self that is the principal vehicle of evolution. Prior to our present human type, 
there were two other stages of being, humanoid and cavernicola, cave dwellers. We are now in the third stage, human, about to enter the fourth, superhuman. This is all a process of initiation, a movement from stage to stage, advancing up the ladder of being, always needing to let go of the preceding level. Owing to the cosmocentric perspective, the description of the origins and evolution of spirit is in accord with the electroplasmic universe model. It is so uniquely distinct from our ingrained perceptions that we will present it as a discrete set of logical progressions. Origin of Spirit The origin of spirit is a function of the complexification of matter giving rise to two types of galaxies, Mars Gamma, types without life, and card dual, galaxies with life. Here, life is understood as the potential for matter to become organic, that is, self-generating and self-evolving. This occurs when there is positive electrical charge, 6, plus a negative charge, 9. When the card dual galaxy type splits off from the embryonic galaxy nebulas, called Ness, Two types of electroplasmatic nuclei called darios join together. The duarico negative charge 9 and the qualico positive charge 6. This forms an electroplasmatic complex called carvidico. This gives rise to Mertenica vidica lines charged with Mars signs, which in turn create a matrix giving origin to two sexual entities, the masculine higher self and the feminine higher self which in nature will be generators of human life. These entities are purely fifth dimensional and are formed because of the growth and contact they have with the Mertenica Vedica lines that prolong them. The actual mechanics of life result from the inharmonic relation of the electronic particles within the electroplasmatic nuclei plus six chemio and the minus nine solen which sets up a rhythmic pulsation, establishing a field attracting to itself positive and negative myriads. Within the center of that field arises a primal manifestation called a virus, which, having depolarized itself, loses its potential for conversion or adhesive possibility of reimpression in an appropriate medium. That causes it to send out Mertanica Vidica lines of force. These lines establish prana as a different type of electric vidico quanta, essential for slowing processes of cardiosenesis, aging, and mitosis, cell division. This type of prana can be received through the bare feet on the earth early in the morning, enhanced if followed by a session of meditation. In the actual flow of evolution of spirit, next arises the car vidico which establishes itself as a quanta called septum. This septum is the originating point of flows of Mertanica Vidica lines. This gives rise to two fifth dimensional entities of control, feminine and masculine. From the two fifth dimensional higher self entities arrive the evolutive vehicles utilized by the fifth dimensional higher self the third and fourth dimensional self and other. These two are utilized by the pure spiritual fifth dimensional entity to acquire experience and knowledge of the lower dimensions, of the effects of intentional thinking and the third cosmic law of karma-dharma. Such is the origin of spirit. <laughs>